mean, the hero I look at is someone that saved somebody. I mean, we just got hit and then we just had to save ourselves. And we... After last Monday's shooting, police officer Chanel Cole is reluctant to take too much credit. Even though she'd been shot eight times in the face, arms and legs, Constable Cole still managed to radio for help. I didn't know at that time I'd been shot that many times. I knew that I couldn't move this arm. It was on my chest and I knew that something had happened to my arm and my mouth. Two male colleagues were also seriously injured when a gunman ambushed the trio sitting in the car on Brisbane's north side. They'd been discussing how best to handle a complaint about the man police suspect of carrying out the shootings. 32-year-old Nigel Perotti, also known as Jesse James, has a fetish for guns and has been on the run since the attack. Last night, police swarmed through East Brisbane after two motorists reported they'd seen a man matching Mr Perotti's description. But like other sightings around Queensland, last night's proved to be yet another false alarm. Investigating police admit they have no idea where the gunman might be hiding or even if he's still alive. I think that would put a lot at ease if I knew that he was not out there. I don't want this to happen to anyone else and, and I just, yeah, I just would, he needs help. Police want the public to pass on any information. Daya Clark, ABC News, Brisbane.